welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I thought that I would go ahead and just share with you my morning skincare routine. If you can't tell by my voice, I'm kind of getting sick. I woke up this morning with a super, super horrible sore throat. So leave in the comments if you have any recommendations on what to do for a sore throat. I would love that. Um, but yeah, so aside from my voice being kind of messed up today, I just figured I would go ahead and film my morning skincare routine. I feel like skincare is one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube. It's always fun to like see all the different products that people use and I am a mom on a budget so most of these things are super super duper affordable and easy to access. Um, I also do want to throw in here that my skin type I have combination skin. I used to have super duper dry skin before I got pregnant and then when I was pregnant my skin started getting like really oily especially in the t-zone area. I got super oily there but now that I'm no longer pregnant it's more of combination skin so like I will still get dry flaky spots but then I will also get an oily spot here and there every once in a while. So I do have um, I would say probably kind of dry to combination skin in that um, range. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. The cleanser that I use, um, I do like to kind of mix it up every once in a while. I feel like if you use the same thing forever, your skin kind of gets used to it and it needs like a reboost or um, it just needs something different every once in a while. But this is one of my tried and trues I'm constantly coming back to. It's the, I don't know exactly how to say this, CeraVe, CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser it says it's for normal to dry skin now this it's nothing like super fantastic when you use it you your skin feels super hydrated but it's not like I don't know I don't know how to describe it the first time I used that I was just kind of like that's it like it's just it's so incredibly gentle but that's now why I love it so much so it's not anything that's going to be super harsh or leave your skin feeling like super incredibly dry it feels clean but um it still feels very moisturized and so that's why i love it now but the first time that i used it i was like that's it like okay so i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face my other tip is use a new rag or towel every single day um if you use the same ones over and over you're just putting that same bacteria back into your skin but if you're using a new one it's not going to um you're not re-exposing your skin to the same things every single day um also i don't know if you've noticed but i'm not like intensely scrubbing to dry my skin i'm just kind of patting it dry you know my baby hairs postpartum life um a new thing that i have just introduced is these this is the Stridex Maximum um, Soft Touch Pads. These are for acne prone skin and I do get some acne and like some texture and so I wanted some sort of a acne medication to use to help keep everything at bay. So I've been using these and I have not broke out to them or anything so that's good. If your acne medication, like if you're having issues with it, check and see what it is because there's um, salicylic acid and then there's also benzoyl peroxide and people react differently to each one. So sometimes the benzoyl peroxide won't work for you but salicylic acid will and vice versa. So just kind of figure out what works best for you. And then I go in with my toner. This is the um, Witch Hazel um, and the St. Rose Petal and I have it in the misting version. So I just kind of mix it up and spritz it on. That um, witch hazel has definitely changed the game for me. It really, really has helped um, clear my skin and help get rid of acne. Now I still have like large pores that I'm trying to work on and some texture bumps, but that really helped with my acne. And then I will go in with my eye cream. This is again from that same brand, the Sarah, CeraVe, CeraVe, I don't know entirely how to say it, 
but this is the eye repair cream and I actually put a lot on because I love having super hydrated under eyes so I just squirt it on all like that and then I'll just kind of pat it in you don't want to rub too hard because um, if you're rubbing too hard you're obviously going to be damaging the under eye and that is super incredibly delicate delicate skin so I just like to uh, we do tiny little circular motions out the farther I get and then as I'm inside I just do tiny dabs just to kind of make sure that everything is all soaking into the skin and we're not causing any premature wrinkles or anything just want to hydrate everything up okay then I go in with my moisturizer now this is not like my absolute favorite moisturizer it works it does the job um, but I'm kind of on the hunt for a better moisturizer this is just the Olay whip um, fragrance free moisturizer that's one thing that I have found um, I don't have super duper sensitive skin, but I do break out to things and the more fragrance something has in it, the higher of a chance I will to like break out to it a little bit. And I don't mean break out like acne break out, I just mean like my skin kind of turns red and it feels super irritated. But this doesn't do that. However, I could look for something a little tiny bit more moisturizing, I don't know. And then the very last product that I will put on my face, the most important, you need sunscreen. Every single day, whether you're inside, outside, summer, winter, no matter what, you need sunscreen. And this is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel Lotion. It's SPF 50. And I really like this one. And this does have a scent. Um, I was super sensitive to it at first. Like I said, kind of sometimes scents irritate my skin. And it does, it did irritate it a little bit, but it's not anymore. Like, my skin's used to it. I just like this because it's super hydrating. Like, it's almost like another moisturizer on top of your moisturizer. Okay, um, and then that's literally it. Okay, a couple extras for my skincare routine. First are these Roto Cooling Eye Drops. I like to use these whenever I do my makeup or like this morning I think I got a tiny bit of that sunscreen or something in my eye and it was hurting super bad. I don't know if it's still a little red. But I just drop these in it and it helps to feel better. Um, I like them if I'm feeling super tired. It kind of like makes me feel more awake and more ready to tackle the day, I don't know. It just helps me feel more fresh and bright and ready to go, and so I really like those. And then another moisturizer that if I'm feeling, if I feel extra dry that day, I'll go in with this. This is from the brand Senegence, and it is their Climate Control. It's super duper awesome. As you can see, I'm like literally almost completely out of this. I'm like scraping to get the very last bit. But I really like this. Um, I don't necessarily use it every single day, but if I'm feeling like extra dry, I will use this because this is more of kind of like a splurgy item, but it's worth it. And then um, I take vitamins every day. So this is not sponsored. I feel like every time you see um, Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins, it's always a sponsored video. This is not in any way sponsored. Um, I take these every single day. Um, I just got this new bottle in the mail. I have them from Amazon, so I just have the, I have it set on the automatic, like, resend, I don't know what, subscribe and save, I think is what it is. I have it set on that. Um, I take two of these every single day, and part of the reason I'm doing it is for postpartum hair loss. I haven't really lost, like, a ton, ton of hair, honestly. More or less, I have all this regrowth, and they're all... I have just have so much baby hairs. I don't know if it's regrowth or if it's breakage, whatever. But I've just been taking this to try and help grow those baby's hairs out and tame them a little bit. I really like these and they taste super good. So this is like my fourth bottle, I think. Um, but if 
this is not your cup of tea, you could always try just taking a woman's vitamin or you could take a prenatal. Even if you're not pregnant, um, it's just as jam-packed full of all those good things that you need. It, prenatals have biotin and um, folic acid in them, which are both really good for um, hair and skin. So I would totally suggest picking up maybe one of these or you could always start with like a prenatal and see how you like it and then you could always incorporate this into your routine as well. But yeah, so that is everything. That is my morning skincare routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure and um, like this video if you want me to do a nighttime skincare routine. That will just let me know and I'll go ahead and film that here in a few days. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for all your love and support on my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to hit the little notification bell because um, YouTube won't always notify you that I uploaded, uploaded a video um, just when you're subscribed. You typically have to like hit the bell to actually get the notification that I posted a video. But I'm working out a schedule. I think I'm working out a um, schedule of when I'm going to upload. My goal is to do one to two times a week. I don't know. We're going to see how um, this is working with mom life and whatnot. But that is my schedule so far. So yeah. Um, I want to do maybe like a nighttime routine or a like mom pamper pamper <laughs> routine um, where I can talk about like teeth whitening and face masks that I love and everything like that all about that so let me know if that's something that you're interested in and if you have any other video ideas be sure to leave them down below and yeah I think that is everything so thank you guys so 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 much and I will see you in my next video